mistake early on. So Nebraska kind of in the same situation. Minnesota was in on the beam. Needs a final gymnast to come through strong here. Kayla Slechta was the one who did not record the score she wanted for Minnesota on the beam. She would love to finish out with a strong performance here on floor. Tied her season high last weekend. She's ranked 16th in the Big Ten currently on floor exercise. Says her idol is Shannon Miller. Watched her in the 96 Olympics. Even though I was four years old, she says she still remembers it. That was a front double twist for Kayla's first tumbling pass. Always wanted to be a gopher. And Coach Stevenson kind of joked, ironically, she was the last to commit to that class. We just saw a full and a half to a punch front layout for Kayla's second pass. You see some mats on the floor there and her ankles taped. I would assume it's just for some extra cushion on those landings. It's only an inch or four inches of, of mat, but Makes a difference. Goes a long way. <laughs> Select the parent for that final pass. Ends with a front handspring, front Rudy. Really made up for that mistake on beam with a outstanding floor performance for Kayla and Nebraska and you, Minnesota, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can see her reaction kind of in that final pass too. It was almost kind of a relief. Oh, I got it. Because you know as a competitor and the kind of gymnast that she is, she wanted to rebound, she gets a hug from the head coach. She did that. Look at her first pass here of her routine. Starts off with a front handspring, front double full. Two twists and a front flip. Just can't help it. And her final pass, and just if we can see her reaction in her face, relief. Front Rudy, and she's smiling when she picks her head up. Whew. Sometimes you just feel like you almost let your team down when you fall. I know how that feels, and she just wants to make her team know what she's capable of and how she can help them. Speaking of team,